Okay, okay, everybody, come on in. We're going to keep going here. Uh, for anybody new here, hi, I am Maggie, your substitute teacher. I'd like to welcome you to yet another struggle cooking class because I am not a professional chef, nor am I a professional YouTuber. I'm just a mom and a home cooker sharing my love of food on my health and wellness journey with you all. Today, we are recreating a recipe that I saw online for the first time called the potato chip omelet. I know. Have I ever made this before? No. Has that ever stopped me? No. So apparently there is this TV show called The Bear. I have never watched it. I don't even really watch a lot of TV. So you all can let me know if you've ever seen this uh, show. And apparently in this episode, there is a young chef who makes a potato chip omelet. And apparently it's gone viral. And so I wanted to recreate it. I'm gonna make this for Marcus. The boys are still here. Marcus asked for an omelet. So I'm gonna show you all this recipe and then we are going to get our ingredients out and get started. We got Miss Crow T. Shetty. Mrs. Crow T. Shetty joined the Maggie members. Thank you so much for being a member. I appreciate all of my support. Those of you all who watch and show up every day, I appreciate it. But when you go above and beyond to join, whether it's the Patreon or the membership, I appreciate it. I try to give our members uh, early access and some behind the scenes content. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We will take attendance in just a moment. If you would like to be counted present, feel free to announce yourself. However, if you prefer to watch from the clouds and you know who you are, you are most welcome here. We are the happy, wholesome, family-friendly side of YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. All right, so on Instagram, I see 10 plus sounds here. Hello, sir. We got Quick Ting 90. Hello. Thank you so much for being here. And your Santorini guide. I remember you, Shah. I know, is it Hada? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I remember I did a tour with Hada. We went to a beautiful museum uh, when I was in Greece this summer. It's so good to see you. Thank you for joining my struggle cooking stream. If you all are ever in Greece, please check out Hada. And uh, I learned so much. It was an amazing trip. And of course, I made content when I was there. Let's see who we have here on TikTok. We've got 57260, Roberta Luscious. Hi, I'm Nate. Uh-oh, I missed it. I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying, y'all. We got so many people here. Nay, uh, Bayluck user, Zveld user, Henry Jane Newer, Sue Survivor, Nay Crack, Pretty Shira, Mary Devon Mastin, user Amira, Chocolate Charles, Pink Lips, user Healthy Hair, Rodney, uh, user John Sue, Mike, Jerry, and Yolanda. All right, so those of you all, as always, on TikTok and on Instagram, hello, Mua Destiny. If you would like to see the side by side, you can always find me at MaggieTheSubstituteTeacher.com. I am streaming live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, and Twitter. I'm Maggie, the substitute teacher on all platforms if you want to see the overhead camera. Thank you all so much for being here. Who do we have over here? Geneva Madison, top of the class to you, my dear. She says, hello, Maggie. And we've got Kenya Bryant Pompey coming back through Pretty and Pink. She says, hi, Maggie, from Palmetto, Florida. You might say Palmetto. I'm in Atlanta. We say Palmetto. Thank you all so much for being here. All right, so let's get our counters cleaned off, wash our hands, and get started. We got Tasha Arnett coming through. Hello, my dear. Beautiful smile. She says, hello, Miss Maggie. Thank you for watching on Facebook. And hello, G. Uh, Perry. Hello. Linda says you're new here. Hello on TikTok, Linda. <clears throat> I appreciate you all. Okay. So let me know if anybody's ever seen this show. I've never even heard of this show, but that doesn't say much because I don't know much about pop culture. Y'all know you can describe Maggie in many ways. Cool is probably not one of them. Uh, some of y'all would argue me and, uh, and, and uh, disagree, and that's fine. That's fine. At least these kids don't think I'm cool. Y'all already know. Mm -mm. We got Bonnie Young in the house saying, hello, Maggie. Hello, my dear. We got Boy Boyle and Tris the Don. Hello. Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate it. Okay. And let's always start with clean hands. Then I'm going to show you all the video that caught my attention. All right, so.
So I follow all of the home cookers, all of the cooking channels. I don't believe you've ever mastered your craft. You can improve every day. And that's what I try to do. Uh, so this one I saw on Meridian, who is another home cooker. Um, and she has an amazing channel, beautiful presentation. I learn a lot. So apparently she was recreating this recipe from the show called The Bear. And it seems a little dark for me. Uh-oh, y'all don't tell me. Okay. I was like, did I not charge it? <laughs> We've got Gillis in the house. Hello, my dear. She says, hi, Maggie. Hi, everyone. Look at Marcus making this sushi. Y'all know I taught the boys how to cook, so I still haven't posted it yet, but I'm going to. I use my social media to follow all of these home cookers, and I use my saved folders when I see something in my feed. Y'all can see when I open up my social media, it's food, 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 because I like to eat. I know. Y'all have told me I'm working on it, okay? <laughs> we got Michael Wendy in the house. Hello, my dear. We have Damon in the house and Tay Tay in the house. Hello, hello, everyone. Okay, so let me go into my saved folders. I encourage you all to do this. You can, you know, make wish lists for things that you want to buy, but maybe you're a little tight on money. Just save it and come back to it and see if you really want it as bad as you did before. All right. So actually, I know who this one is from, so I'm just going to go to Meridian's page. And I'll show you all the reel that caught my attention. And then I'll actually show you the video, the clip that this is from in the show. Maybe y'all have seen it. Hello, Silly Jeff. Hello, uh, Samagla. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. <clears throat> so again, this is Hajar. This is her page. So her page is Meridian. And I think she's like half Moroccan and half Oh, I don't want to butcher it. I don't know if it's from Libya or she's she's from somewhere in that part of the world. So she um, combined the two. Uh, so you can see this is her page on uh, Instagram. All right. So here's the recipe. I'm going to play it a couple times so y'all can see. Show the bear and in Natalie's words, I could cry. The scene where Sydney was making this French omelet was just so beautiful that I was immediately craving it after, even though I've never had one before. We're gonna start out by cracking really fresh eggs and then you're gonna run them through a sieve so that they're super smooth. Whisk until you have a consistency that's almost like water and then we're gonna salt it and let it sit for about 10 minutes. Now over medium low heat, melt on some butter, add the eggs and you're gonna start using a rubber spatula to swirl in circular motions while shaking the pan until you have a custard-like texture. Then we'll pipe some bursts and roll it up tightly using more butter and then transfer it to your plate and make it look picture perfect. Now, if you already thought that was a crazy amount of butter, we're going to brush more butter on top, add chives and crushed potato chips, and now we just enjoy. All right, so one more time so you all on TikTok and Instagram can see. I finally recreated the famous potato chip omelet from the show The Bear, and in Natalie's words, I could cry. The scene where Sydney was making this French omelet was just so beautiful that I was immediately craving it after, even though I've never had one before. We're going to start out by cracking really fresh eggs, and then you're going to run them through a sieve so that they're super smooth. Whisk until you have consistency that's almost like water, and then we're going to salt it and let it sit for about 10 minutes. Now, over medium low heat, melt on some butter, add the eggs, and you're going to start using a rubber spatula to swirl in circular motions while shaking the pan until you have a custard-like texture. Then we'll pipe some bursts and roll it up tightly using more butter and then transfer it to your plate and make it look picture perfect. Now, if you already thought that was a crazy amount of butter, we're going to brush more butter on top, add chives and crushed potato chips, and now we just enjoy. All right, y'all. <clears throat> so I have made a French omelet multiple times. I've never done it this way. Uh-oh. I've never done it this way with potato chips, and I've never done it this way with... Uh, well, I have put chives on top. So let me know what you all are thinking about this recipe. Hello, Rocket. Hello, Vera Cruz. And hello, 1972. The African Wolf says this is going to be a good one. Okay, y'all are excited already. Um, I am going to, we're going to go ahead and get started. You know what? I did hear she said we need to salt the eggs and let them sit for 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and get started with the eggs. I'll keep this on repeat. And then once we come to a stopping point, I will play the clip from the actual show so you all can see. Again, this is apparently a viral recipe from a show called The Bear. Never heard of it. But I'm old and not cool. So what does that tell you? All right, let me get my uniform on and uh, we're going to get started with our eggs, OK? So I'm all for the French omelet. I asked Marcus if he would try it and he was like, if you want to, I'm that mom. I don't always experiment on the kids. <laughs> that sounds horrible. But you know, I make what they like. But every once in a while, I'm like, 
would you all try this? But I showed them the video first and I'm like, okay, let me know what you eat that. And he's like, mm -hmm. 16. We'll see. All right. So we are ready. All right. So I want to know what you all think. All right. So let's get started. I am actually going to use Kitchi because we are going to be whisking today. Shout out to Brandon L. Jett. You all know him. He gifted us with the KitchenAid behind us. So we are going to be whisking in this recipe. And I know she does it by hand. But whenever there's an opportunity to use our KitchenAid, I will. <laughs> Gilly says, uh, looks interesting. OK, so you all are here for it. The condemned says, I haven't had an omelet in a while. All the fixings. Yeah, the American style omelet is the one with like the bacon and the sausage and the onions and the peppers and the ham and all of that. And it is um, cooked in butter and it's kind of like a gold and brown. However, the French omelet, you all can tell, there's no brown on the French omelet and you whip the eggs so you get like that custard consistency and that's what gives it almost like a creaminess without adding, without adding cheese. Like I said, French cuisine, always very simple ingredients, but it's the, um, it's the method that makes it oh, a little challenging but incredible to eat. I'll be back in France 2025 if anyone wants to uh, travel with me. I've already posted it on my tab. Hello, Pookie. Okay, let's get kitschy. <clears throat> and as always, thank you, Brandon, for... Oh, it's heavy. I need you to vacuum and I put those wipes there so you could um, uh, clean off your, your countertop. Um, I'm getting started now. It'll only take about 30 minutes. But are you done? And I'm in the middle of six. And vacuum. Okay. And vacuum and clean the, the countertop. Okay. Come back at 245. Okay, do you need some? You can use olive oil or coconut oil. I mean, I can't get you something right okay. now. Do you want to say hello since you just come down and, and this is the teenager I'm cooking for. And you are? Hungry. Hungry? Shout out to Marcus. Y'all already know. When are you going to be done? What? Yeah, you need to take a shower. You've been painting. take a shower. Bye. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm going to rant for just a moment. You got stuff you want to do with your friends, right? I told you a long time ago that room needs to be clean. You need to vacuum, wipe everything down. I need that bathroom clean before you ask me to go. Have you done any of that? No. So why are you asking me when I'm going to be done? And rant is over. Let us continue. Okay. Gillies. Y'all, if you have seen those cooking shows where everything is perfect and planned ahead of time, this is not that. Get them chores done, young man. What are y'all saying? Yes, yeah, Swim Shady is in the house. Y'all already know. Why are you worried about what I'm doing? Have you done what I asked you to do? All right. Focus. So we are going to use our KitchenAid to whisk the eggs. So I'm going to put the whisk attachment on here. But before we whisk the eggs, let me lock this. We're actually going to um, strain the eggs. Just move this. It's beautiful and very sturdy. Yes, Geneva. Shout out to the kids. Y'all already know, OK? <laughs> OK. So let's wipe this down. All right, so you see what she starts with. And there's. let's see if she actually puts a recipe here. All right, she doesn't actually put a recipe here, so we're just going to have to follow, uh -oh, follow along. So I'm going to put the strainer. So I have a fine mesh strainer. I'm going to strain on top of the KitchenAid bowl. And then once we get the eggs strained, why are we straining them? I don't know. She did that in the, in the video. And Alan, hashtag mom life, y'all already know. Y'all check out and Alan, also part of the lead attorney mastermind. She's got a great ch uh, channel on the shenanigans in the pharmacy. Y'all who are parents already know. Let us continue before I was so rudely interrupted. When is it going to be done? Boy, why are you still dusty? Whew, 
Hello, Ezra. All right, so we're gonna crack some eggs in here. I am going to use whole eggs. I guess you could use the pourable eggs on this one, but I always like to give you all the best. And if you heard, she said fresh eggs. I just have <clears throat> All right, so let's see how many she cracks in here because it looked like a lot. One, two, four. Look like five, y'all. Maybe y'all can count. We'll just keep it on repeat. So I'm just going to strain them here and we're not straining them. I might need to go upstairs. There are two of them and they wait for me to start streaming to start the foolishness. Hello, Steve. Thank you all for the hearts. All right, let's crack our eggs, why don't we? All right. I'm guessing, I've never cracked eggs this way over a strainer. Um, I guess we just want to really break it up so that it's fine, but we're going to use the whole egg. It looked like five. Patty Moore Play Lottery says, yummy. Kelly says, I live vicariously through people with kids so you can laugh at the shenanigans without the loss of hair. The loss of hair, the gray hair, yes, taking years off of my life. Geneva is laughing at me. Kelly says, yeah, look like a lot of eggs for that one omelet. I agree. These are small eggs, but we'll still do five. That boy will eat them though. Sarita says, this is real life. <laughs> Thank you. My first time seeing you here, Sarita. Maybe you've been cloud watching, but y'all, anything can go down here. I really do try to plan and prepare. We have the talk, right? I tell the kids, if you need anything from the kitchen, I'm going to stream at this time. Please come get whatever you want. If you need anything from me, this is what you need to do. And they wait. And then I do my thing. And here come the gong gongs. Patty Moore says, moms are always at work. I know, I know. Yes, on the last nerves. Y'all already know these kids. 16 years old, still coming at me with, when are you going to be ready? Boy, you're the one looking dusty. We got Ray back in the house. We got Ray back in the house. Y'all, please check out Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. We did a collab months ago. He's got a YouTube channel and Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. He's another home cooker. He tears it up on the grill. Um, Southern home style cooking. One moment. Okay. <sighs> y'all, <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all. Oh, Patty says they're just hungry. Well, I would be cooking if we could act right. How about that? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying, Ray. I'm trying. Five eggs. 14 and 16, and they still don't act right. Okay, focus. Five eggs. <sighs> I'm gonna play this one more time just so I can catch the steps. I'm all discombobulated. Well, it was just so beautiful that I was immediately- Good afternoon, Greg. Even though I've never had one before. Right. 
We're going to start out by cracking really fresh eggs, and then you're going to run them through a sieve so that they're super smooth. Whisk until you have a consistency that's almost okay. like water. Okay, so we're going to crack them in here. All right, so we're going to crack them and just go... All right, they're not really going through, kind of, but I don't know what's supposed to be happening here, but they're kind of slowly going through. Maybe that's the thing. I'm looking. Oh, I guess it just slowly goes through. All right, so you all can see it's slowly dripping down. So we've got time. Hello, uh, Ezra. Hello, Simon. I'll drop the link in case anybody wants to chat. I always forget to do that. I'm going to be here whisking these eggs. But what we're trying to do, you all, <clears throat> in all seriousness, you can tell from the eggs we have a little bit of white and a little bit of, um, of yolk. And we really want to get that as homogenous as possible. So it is coming through. Why don't we play the clip from the show since I've got this repeatable task here. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna keep whisking these. Hello, Big Stags, I meant to say thank you. You sent a super chat after my last stream or two streams ago and I saw it afterwards. Thank you, I appreciate the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the wave. All right, so I'm gonna be whisking these. It is dripping through. I don't know if y'all can, let me see, so y'all can see. So it is kind of dripping through slowly. So again, we are recreating a recipe. I'm going to show you all. There is this TV show called The Bear, and apparently it's about chefs. Have I ever seen it? No, but that don't say nothing, okay? Um, and apparently in this um, episode, this lady makes this potato chip omelet that everybody's kind of like, it's gone viral. So I'm like, okay, what's the big deal? So let me pull it up and I'll play it for you all. Okay. So this is it. Sydney makes an omelet, the scene from the bear. I have Cade solos in the back. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and bring you up camera on or camera off. So I see you camera off. So I'm going to go ahead and bring you up. You can go ahead and chat with us. And while I'm whisking these eggs, go ahead, Cade. Hello. I don't hear anything. Uh-oh. It doesn't show that you're muted. Okay. I'm still working on this while you're working on your sound. I'm going to go ahead and play this, y'all. It's a minute and 35 seconds. So you all can see this is the episode that the clip that went viral. Can y'all see that? All right, Kate, I'm gonna just drop you down. Oh, you're in the private chat. Oh, you're fixing it? Okay, I'll leave you up there. It's going through y'all, slowly. There's really no sound. It's just the sound of her making this omelet. Has anybody ever done potato chips on an omelet? Okay, Galiskas, y'all can see. So apparently, Okay, so apparently that's the show and that's the um, episode that everybody's talking about. All right, y'all, I think we're good. So I'm gonna go ahead and whisk this up. So we finally got our eggs to seep through. So we have a little bit of foam left in here, but what we have is really the creaminess uh, left in here. Hello, Jerry Gold. 
Aw, thank you. I appreciate the compliment. He says, I'm graceful. You must have just joined. Okay. So these little, all right, Kate, there you are. We have your sound. Go ahead. Okay. So let me move this. What were you making again? I'm sorry? What were you making again? I am making the potato chip omelet. Can you see the screen? Uh, yeah, I can see it. Ah, yes. Did you have a question for me or have you seen this show? Um, yeah, I watch it sometimes. Okay. Did if I had a time, you know. I understand. I understand. So, did you have a question for me or anything to add before I start whisking up? Um, no. Okay. Well, I appreciate you being here and your support. I'm just going to drop you down. We're going to keep cooking because these eggs need to salt. If you need anything, you can just message me in the private chat. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and salt these and then we're going to whisk them up inside here. So I wanna make sure you all can see. So this is the five eggs, which you can see here and I put a little salt in there. You can see the texture, it's very homogenous, all yellow. We don't have any of the white, egg white and we don't have any of the yolk, all right? So let's put that on. And let's lower this down. Thank you, Brandon Eljet, for Kitchy. And we're gonna turn this on low. And she says to whip it until you get the consistency of water. Let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna go up high. It looks like it's moving kind of jiggly. Uh, no, Yama says, did I add milk to the eggs? No, on a French omelet, it's just, just the eggs cooked in butter. Okay, so it's nice and foamy. There's no milk added to the French omelet. You can um, see here, let me show you all the texture. It's really just whipping the air into them that gets them to curdle and that gives you the creaminess like there's milk or cheese in there, but there's not, all right? So you all can see, oh yeah, we have it very watery. All right, so you all can see. So we've salted this and she says to let it set for like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna move this behind me and we're just going to get our surface ready. We need to get our chives cut and we need to put our cheese in the piping bag, all right? So this was five small eggs whisked up together, all right? So let's set that here. All right, <clears throat> let me take the beautiful stand mixer apart. Thank you, Brandon. Okay. I'll move this behind me so we can get our cutting board. We got a little bit to prep. We've got to cut the chives. All right. So, so far we're doing really good with our eggs. So I do have some fresh chives. If you all have a vegetable garden, maybe you grow these. I just have to order them at the grocery store, all right? So I've got the chives here. <laughs> Kate says, have I made goat curry? I haven't made a goat curry. Um, I've made lamb, and I don't know, have I made a curry yet? That sounds like something I should try. Love Indian food and Caribbean food and, of course, African food. Hello, Shame. Hello, Big. Thank you all so much for being here. I appreciate you. Okay, let's get the cutting board. So chives come from, like, the onion family, um, but they're very mild. So... They're a great garnish. Of course, I'm gonna go with fresh, which gives you that nice pop of green. However, if you can't get fresh, you can use the dried chives and I'll show you all. I've ordered these from Amazon. You can sprinkle them on as a nice garnish or put them in an ingredient. The freeze dried ones are okay, excuse me, but you can tell the color and the freshness. So I love to give you all the best. So we're gonna go with fresh. 
All right, so I'm gonna rinse these off. They're kind of grassy. And then we're gonna chop these up fine. We're not gonna use all of them, but I just wanna have them prepped so that when our omelet is ready, we're ready to just um, garnish it well. All right, so let's just go ahead and uh, get these cut up. Kelly says, what the heck was that drink she poured? Coffee over orange juice. I don't think so. I'll play the clip one more time. To me, it looked like a breakfast cocktail of like orange juice and like, what is it, like cranberry? You all tell me. Let's go back to the clip so you all can watch. This is the clip that went viral where everybody is trying to recreate this omelet. Y'all see my ring lights in the way. There you go. I'll put it here for you. And it looks like she made orange juice and cranberry juice. I'm slow. What do y'all think it is? Orange juice and cranberry juice? It's gotta be some type of breakfast cocktail, right? out of the way so what do you all think it reminds me of the moroccan sunset when i went to an atlanta restaurant called um oh my gosh the consulate where they have a global menu they made an amazing cocktail it was like orange juice and they had frozen like a burgundy kind of ice cube that had like the liquor and as it melted into the drink it gave you this beautiful like ombre color it was amazing hello d ray yes cooking with cersei uh cersei here i'm cooking with fresh chives <coughs> getting better y'all thank you all for liking the live stream ah uh yes the happy mail is going out i looked um Khalees, it looks like it's coming to you on Tuesday. I know several of you have gotten happy mail. If you're interested, so I've got the chives cut up here. If you're interested in getting any Maggie mail, I'm happy to cook for you. Something that I can ship, which is probably a pastry. Happy to cook for you and uh, send it to you in the mail. I'll put the link. I think I put, hello, Brent, Brand Danny. My first time seeing you here. Thank you for the waves and the hearts and the kisses. I appreciate that. Thank you, sweetheart. If you all are interested, you can scan this QR code or take a screenshot. If there's anything that you want me to make, I will buy the ingredients and make it live on stream and then send it to you however you'd like me to ship it to you. Okay, so we have our fresh chives ready to go. What is Cade saying? The view is amazing over here. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I'm glad you like it. Okay, also, I'm going to go ahead and cut up the butter because I know we're going to use a lot of butter in this recipe. Look, for this recipe, I'm using regular butter because I'm making a regular recipe. Y'all know I do the substitutes and non-dairy butter, but I am going to use regular here. That is very common in French cooking. They use a lot of butter. Um, in Italian and Greek cooking, they use a lot of olive oil. In like Caribbean and African cooking, we use like coconut or shea. Everybody has the fat that they use. Hello, here we go. All right, so I just have some regular Walmart butter in the stick. And I like how she has hers portioned out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it all up. I don't know if we're gonna use it all but I'll just go ahead and cut it into tablespoons so we have it ready to go. And then I'll crush up the potato chips because yes, this recipe, believe it or not, uses potato chips. <laughs> I have never had potato chips on an omelet, but I told y'all I'll try anything once, right? 
<laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and cut this. Mine's not going to be as beautiful as hers, but oh, let's stop there. All right, so we have our tablespoons of butter ready. And then let's go ahead and break up some potato chips because I want this omelet to come out and we have all of our garnishes ready to go. And we've got to get the cheese in there. Then we'll be ready to cook. All right. So who likes potato chips? I got some ruffles and I got the ones with the waves because if you look at the recipe, of course it doesn't say, but if you look well on Meridian, you will see that she actually uses the ruffles potato chips. So that's what I got um, on the actual clip. Yeah, so I got the same bag. But if you don't like sour cream, I'm sure you could use regular. So y'all let me know, are you team sour cream or are you team regular? All right, let's get a bowl. Our eggs are doing well over here. Just keep that there so y'all can see. So I'm just gonna get a handful of potato chips and go ahead and crush them up by hand. <laughs> Kate says, oh, hello, Greg. Thank you so much for being here. Ah. Oh, uh, Ray says, give Maggie some love. Thank you. Y'all give me love every time you come here. I didn't think anybody would care. I started my channel a year and a half ago because this is what I wanted to eat. <laughs> and here y'all are. Patty says, who don't like potato chips? But on an omelet? Okay, let's try it. So we got our potato chips. God, it's been so long. Stop it, Maggie. All right, so we're just gonna get a handful and I'm just gonna break them right here in the bowl. You could probably, ouch, that hurt my hand. Put them in a bag and beat them with a rolling pin. So we have some crushed potato chips for the omelet. Clean my hand. And then one more thing to do Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kate says ruffles is better. You like ruffles over lays. Do you want some potato chips? Can you put that glass up here so it doesn't knock over, please? I'm making a potato chip omelet. Do you want to try one? Okay. All right. So the last thing we've got to do is the squeeze cheese. So this is a real cheese. This is Borson. This is a garlic and herb cheese. So we're going to put this in the piping bag. Let me move this stuff behind me, y'all. I don't want to mess up our ingredients. So we got our eggs. I know y'all like the close-up. The chives smell incredible. We've got our fresh chives. We've got our crushed potato chips and our butter, okay? So we'll come back to that in a moment. Thank you. Oh, we got Ron Alexander. We have a stream sponsor. Thank you so much for the $9.99. He says, happy Sunday, Maggie and everyone. Thank you. I appreciate that. Y'all don't even have to be here, but when you go above and beyond to support me like that, I appreciate it so much. So Ron is the stream sponsor. The stream sponsor is the person who gives the biggest cash app, PayPal, Venmo, Facebook stars, Instagram gifts. If I miss anything, please let me know. I appreciate you. Uh, here we go says this is the best cheese for recipes like this excellent i've never made it before i'm excited let me get ron alexander on the struggle stream whiteboard all right let's move our ingredients and we have 9.99 thank you Thank you so much for the $9.99, Ron Alexander. Shout out to the West Coast. I will be in LA next week, Friday, September 9th. I was invited to a YouTube party. Those of y'all that are Maggie members know all about it, but I was invited to a YouTube party. So I'll be flying out to do uh, some networking there and meet with other creators. I'm part of a uh, content creator community for shorts. And of course, y'all be taking pictures and videos and I'll recap everything for you. All right. Everybody's saying hello, hello. 
No petty power for anyone, please. Yeah, Ron wants to stay up on the whiteboard. Oh, dear. All right, no money wars. So let's go ahead with our cheese. So I bought this at Publix. So this is a soft spreadable cheese and we're gonna put this in a piping bag. And it came refrigerated, but I did take this out about an hour ago just so it could soften a little bit, okay? So you all can see here, again, if you like a cheese board or any, you know, any like really rich recipes that are savory, this would be a great uh, cheese for that. So you all can tell here, it looks like butter, but it's cheese. I'm gonna taste a little bit of it. It's been a long time since I've had this Borsen cheese. I can't remember, I worked with a chef who used this. I can't remember if he was making crab cakes or, oh my God. It tastes like, if you've ever had like sour cream and onion dip, but very, very rich. You know how the dip is kind of like watery and dippable? This is very, very concentrated. But I can see why now you're gonna pair the sour cream and onion chips with this Borsen cheese. I'm getting the flavor combination. So it's giving you that onion and the chive that's in here, the chive that's going on top. So if you like savory, if you like oniony, if you like those real rich flavors, you'll like this. Hello, Granny. Hello, Chest Blaze. Okay, so let's get our piping bag. So I just bought these at the dollar store. So these are little icing bags. They come in a triangle shape. If you don't have this, this is fine. You can also just use a like Ziploc bag and cut off the corner. But why be regular when you can be extra? All right. So what I'm going to do for safety, I'm going to get a little cup. All right. So just a regular drinking glass. I'm going to put this here and then I'm going to open up the bag and put it inside the cup and I'm going to put the excess on the outside. This gives me some stability because if I just do it by hand, some people can. I see some chefs, they just hold open the bag, get a spatula and slap it in there. It would be all over my arm. I'm not trying to do that. I'm old and I'm slow, all right? So you could get a coffee mug or whatever. So now we're gonna put our cheese in here. All right, got it in there. Now, I think in her recipe, she did two of the Borsen cheese. I think one is enough, y'all. We're just making this for the first time and it's really good, but I think one is enough. Now we're just gonna pull it up and kind of squeeze it. Since we took it out of the fridge, just kind of squeeze it down like you would do icing, okay? And it's come sealed, these little bags come sealed. We're gonna clip it when we're ready, but I just wanna have all of our ingredients ready because once those eggs are cooked, I don't wanna have to be fooling about with this. So let's get it down. Low, 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 low. Okay, you didn't ask for that. All right, so let's move this. I'm gonna get some scissors and I'm gonna cut so I can squeeze a little bit more because I got an air pocket in there. I'm gonna squeeze it down, then I'm gonna tie the back side. Okay, move the plastic. We don't want that in our in our food. So I'm squeezing, squeezing. I'm gonna try and get all the way to the edge without coming out. Okay. Good, so now I'm just gonna tie this into a knot. You would do the same thing if you're doing frosting. Those of y'all that were with me yesterday when I made those cookie dough balls after the Filipino fried rice, when I read the box before I threw it away, it said to put the melted chocolate in a bag and cut the tip. That way you can drizzle it easy. I'm not an artist. Y'all already know you have told me. All right, so we have our squeezable cheese here ready for inside the omelet. Hello, Godiva. Perry Ward says, what are you? I'm a mom and a home cooker. If you meant what am I making, I'm making an omelet. Hello, Giway. She says, good afternoon. Hello, my dear. All right, so let's put this here with our other ingredients. We'll bring it all over in a second. I think we have everything, y'all. I think we're ready to make the omelet. Let's just check. Butter, we got that ready. All right, eggs. Got that. We did that. 
It's been 10 minutes. They've been sitting over there with a little bit of salt. Did that. We did our cheese. We've got it in our piping bag. Now we're ready to cook. All right, y'all. <laughs> Give away with the love. Uh, Greg says, you have plenty of those. You love baking cakes. Look at me. Okay, class, let's get our cooktop. Okay. So when you're making a French omelet, you definitely need a good nonstick skillet. Hello, top coach. Oh, Tovip coach. You definitely need a good nonstick skillet because you'll notice here, we're going to roll the, rock, the omelet into itself. And if your skillet looks like, since y'all have seen what happens around here, I'm going to show you the skillets I cook with. This is what I cook with and what I let the boys use. Uh-uh. Don't use this for a French omelet. Judge me or don't. I saved the good stuff for y'all. So this is what we're going to be using for our omelet. Okay, you want to make sure that your nonstick is intact so that your omelet rolls well into itself. Big Stags is laughing. Tim Plus says tea or juice. What will go with it? What do you all think? I'll play the video one more time. Y'all didn't say, what do you think she's making here? It looked like orange juice and um, cranberry. Those of y'all, tell me what you think she's making at the end. This again is a viral recipe from a TV show called The Bear. Never heard of it, never seen it. All right, so let's turn this on and get our butter. Let's get our ingredients out. Don't be running through here. Hold on. Aw, thank you, Chocolate Solution. I appreciate you. He says, up here trying to navigate the Lennox. The Mercedes-Benz Stadium is huge. Haven't been to ATL since the Georgia Dome was up. Yeah, it's changed a lot. Always a lot of um, construction here. Smiley says, when will you cook that receives this week? I'm not sure I understand. You want to see me cook greens and cornbread, cornbread, candied yams? Please cook that today. Sorry, not today. I don't even really cook soul food like that. I'm trying to get the rest of this weight off. Y'all been telling me. I know. So what do y'all think that drink was? Okay, let's get started. Okay, so we have everything here. Make sure some of y'all can see. Okay. So we have our butter. We have our chives. We have our crushed potato chips. We have our blended eggs. Thank you, Brandon. Uh-oh, let's put that in there. Second, y'all. Wanna keep this on repeat because I know people come in and out. Okay. And then we have our Borson cheese ready to go. All right, so let's turn on the skillet. I'm gonna go medium low. Oh, and I need a spatula. I need a, a rubber spatula. I'm gonna go medium low and we're gonna start with butter. Now, one of the distinctions when you're doing a French omelet, you don't want the butter to go brown, okay? A French omelet, if you notice, it should be yellow all over. If you let it go brown, the butter got too hot, and that's not what you want. So you want to put your eggs in as soon as it starts foaming. How many pats of butter did she do, y'all? There's a lot of butter in this recipe. Let me focus. It's already melting. Did she do two? I think we need two. There's no recipe, so I just got to watch it over and over again. I think it's 
Yep, two. Okay, so let's get this to melt down. As soon as your butter, your butter is gonna go, let me turn it down. Butter's gonna go from solid to melted to foaming to brown very quickly. All right, so this is where, once it's melted down, if you're making caramel, or as some of y'all call it, caramel, that's fine. Now that it's foamy like this, this is where we're gonna pour in our eggs, all right? So I'm just gonna do one more little whisk. It's nice and watery. Now here's the technique with the French omelet. So we're gonna pour this in, the whole thing, five eggs, and we need to curdle it. So you move the pan around and you, um, the pan and the spatula at the same time. It's kind of weird, but you're kind of putting these air curdles in there. That's how you get the creaminess without the milk, all right? So let me focus, y'all. I'll get to your comments in a minute. This is why you need a good non-stick. So we're going to get it until it kind of sets on the bottom, and then you'll see we're going to smooth it kind of like custard. All right. All right, we just want the edge to kind of set. All right. And I'm looking now that it's set at the bottom, we're ready to roll. I'm just moving the pan around, uh-oh, so I can get all of this egg up. Want it to set. Oh, uh, yes, the best graphics designer, y'all already know. He fixed my uh, thumbnail because y'all know I am not artistic. I'm just moving this around. All right. Don't want it to get brown. Maybe I should have used a bigger skillet. It would have flattened out by now. Okay. That's good. It's okay to have a little bit creaminess in the middle. I think we're good because it'll continue to cook as it rolls into itself. So you all can see it's set on the bottom. We've got a little bit of liquid on top. I'm okay with that. All right, I'm gonna turn this off now. We're gonna put the cheese in there. You can use a bigger skillet too. Just trying to get it all set. All right, so now we're gonna go in. This is the Borson cheese. We're going to Hi, Patty, first time. You can't see. I try with TikTok, y'all. <laughs> if I move it down, then you're just going to see my torso. You can come to YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, or Twitter. I'll try and move it back a little bit so you all can see. All right, so we're going to go in with the cheese. All right, so we've got the Borson cheese in there. Now comes the tricky part. I'm going to get the spatula. And I'm gonna try and go around the sides so that it's not stuck up on the sides because I need it to roll into itself. And we're gonna roll it with butter so that it releases easily. All right, so the first thing you can do, you can kind of tilt your pan back if you want to, get a nice little flap. All right, and then you'll see what she's doing in the video. She's using a little bit of butter here to melt it and then keep going, roll little bit, roll, little bit, roll. I got a little, I got it too brown, but it's okay. Roll, roll. Probably she used a bigger pan. And then, oh man. let's see, want it to break. I'm gonna try and turn it over it on itself so it can kind of seal. Okay. All right. So it's a little bit wetter than I would like. I'm going to turn it on just a little bit. And I think you ready. Oh, wow. What happened to the shoes? Oh. oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. So you look like you're ready to eat. So let me go ahead and plate this. If I can take it away. Yeah, I think it's fine. Just got a little extra. Oh, 
Right. Mess it up. I know, I'll mess it up. I just you want to get the seam side on the bottom. There we go. Perfect. Just a little bit extra heat and that butter's in there. Okay. Now we're ready to plate it. Oh my god. Okay, let's get the plate. And then I'll do one more. Here, you need to take some allergy medicine over here. All right. So you all can see I got it a little bit browner here than I should have. So we're going to move this onto the plate carefully. Okay. Let's switch so you all can see. So we've got it on the plate. I'm going to get a paper towel. I'm just gonna sop up some of that butter. We all eat with our eyes first. So whoops, if you got a little extra liquid, just get that off. All right, so this is our omelet. I got a little tear in there. French omelet should be kind of like a little pointed at the tip. You can see that burst of cheese is coming out. Hello, Mr. Blackwell. Hello, Tara. Hello, that Omiyu, and hello, Fish Gold. Okay, so now what do we do? We put some more butter on top. Just letting it melt down. All right, then we got the chips, but we're gonna do the chives first. So let's get some fresh chives. And just a few on the plate for a garnish. And then the crushed up potato chips. Okay, this is the viral omelet. <laughs> Mommy, <laughs> absolutely. So hopefully you all can see this is the omelet. We're gonna let Marcus try one and then I'm gonna make one more. All right, oh, pictures before the gong gong comes down. All right, Marcus, it's ready. All right, so there's the omelet. Let me do one with the, can you get a fork please? All right, and let's do a video. All right, so today we made the Moravian version of the viral uh, potato chip omelet from the show The Bear. This is an omelet with butter, borsten cheese, salt, chives, and Ruffles potato chips. Enjoy. All right, Marcus, let us know what you think. Can you take a take? Because I need to make another one. Uh, yeah. what are you, you asked for an omelet. Can you give me your. I didn't think you'd go. <clears throat> On it. What the? We didn't need that. I just gargled. You don't like it? I like it. it I, that's the thing. Like, even after gargling, it tastes... It's good? Yeah. I don't know what's inside it. But it's Borsten uh, cheese. What? Borsten cheese. What? Boy, step aside, please. All right, y'all. These kids. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Right. Do you want one? You want sure. to try it. Okay. So, we're going to... All right, I'm just gonna make one more because there's two of them. You just you tried mine. You like it? You want the rest of it? All right, I'm still gonna make another one. It'll take five minutes. I'm not gonna do the straining. I'm just gonna do it by hand. We got plans. We we want to go places. All right, five eggs. Five. <laughs> now, 
No, see how we want to move and shower and all that when we want to go places with our friends? There's a question. You want to come see on the screen? There's a question for you. What's that? They want to know. No, the boys are biracial. They have curly hair. Marcus is usually in fro mode, but this is him after the shower, after swim. So I think you put some conditioner. Uh, he put some conditioner in it. All right, y'all. French omelet. Just beat your eggs. All right. I'm just going to wipe out this skillet. All this stuff is still good, but I'm just going to... Actually, I'm going to eat it because I didn't get nothing. I haven't eaten today. You got all the stuff you need for tomorrow where the pants that I bought, all that stuff. What, what am I eating? You're not coming back here. I'm taking you to your dad's after. So go get all that stuff and put it in the trunk. This will be done in five minutes. You said five minutes too. Marcus, not now. All of a sudden now we want to move. You just I just, keep it up. Chocolate Solution, so good to see you. Y'all, where is my spatula? All right, French omelet. We're not straining it. Just get in here with the butter. Don't, uh oh, don't let it get too hot. So do like a medium low. Once the butter melts, coat the pan well, pour the eggs, and I didn't even salt them. I'm not even going to worry about it. You can add salt later. All right. Curdle your eggs. That's how you get the creaminess without cheese. All right. Move the pan and your hand at the same time. Notice how you're getting these little lumps in there. That's the curdles, okay? That's what you want. I'm supposed to do this over high heat. It takes a little bit of practice. Once it starts to set on the bottom, if I had a bigger pan and it were flatter, you'll be fine. You can roll it around too. Make sure you have a good nonstick pan. All right, I'm gonna let it set for a second. Y'all are laughing. Taster's Choice is laughing. Y'all already know. Neek wants to know what we're making today. Hello, I'm Ba, and we're making a French omelet. All right, this is good enough. Notice how when I move it around, it kind of sets on the bottom. All right, so let's go in with the cheese. You got everything? No. Why not? I'm not making two trips. You need to get it all ready. All right, y'all. Let's try and turn this over. So I'm, I've got the, the pan kind of underhanded. That helps me lift it towards me and then use gravity to kind of turn it in on itself. All right. And a little bit of butter to help it release. That's what we want. We want that beautiful color. If my pan were wider, I wouldn't have as much jiggly bits, but that's okay. I'm going to turn it back on once I get it rolled up just to kind of let it uh, set. Turn this on. I would probably do this with four eggs for this size pan or five eggs for a larger pan, okay? That's the only thing.
Hello, everyone. <laughs> Greg hasn't eaten today either. Y'all, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Trying to get it like a little burrito. Here we go. I just think for this recipe, less egg or bigger pan. Let me move it back. But when you get to this last part with the lip, let's say it's like that, you just kind of roll it over itself. And you should have a little creaminess at the bottom, but not as much wetness as, as this has, but it's okay. This is kind of what we're going for, kind of. But I'm being rushed. Because we want to watch movies with our friends, but no. We've been monkeying around. Then when I start to, anyway, focus, Maggie. All right, there's your omelet. All right, y'all. Um, no commercials, no nothing. Thank you all for all of the support. A little bit of chives, a little bit of potato chip. This is the omelet. When I come back, I'll make one for me. Here you go. You can get a fork. All right, Marcus. Thank you all so much for being here. Um, we've got to go. And uh, I'll make another one. I'll post this. Uh, if you're new here, I do stream every day. Usually it's a calmer cooking show. However, you know what? I want a bite of that. I'm going to taste for y'all. So good, but very savory. You have to like onion. It's amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Thank you all. Sign up for the finishing school. Link is in the description. Order your Maggie mail. My unpaid Uber. All right, y'all. Class is dismissed. Thank you so much, Instagram. See you all tomorrow. How was the omelet? It was great. It was great. It was smooth. Smooth, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, TikTok, class is dismissed. Thank you, Greg, for being in the back. Drop a link for the pan. It's the Tasty Cookware. Go to my class notes or my cheat sheet. Inbox me. I'll send you the direct link. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Teenagers, bye. Teenagers. Yes. <laughs>